hello my dear sujwal or and uh, today i have a question which is uh, a cantilever beam okay as you can see this is a cantilever beam and this is the case of udl that means udl what does uh, that what what is the meaning of this this is uniformly varying load this is one of the most important topic in case of if you are studying uh, in university examination udl is most important but whenever we are trying to draw shear force and bending moment bending moment for udl uniformly varying load we really face little bit difficulty so in this tutorial i am going to make you understand each and every step that's why you can draw udl in case of cantilever beam okay so this is we are going to draw here shear force diagram and in the below we are going to draw bending moment diagram let me uh, extend a little bit this line okay now first if you if you are you are going to get if you're going to get diagram like this in case of cantilever beam what we have to do we have to first separate this little bit and we have to name this as a b c d and e this point is now what i'm going to tell you we are having we are having two triangle triangle a b c and triangle d e c all right so what we can do from this uh, we can we can uh, we can take similarity triangle similarity triangle all right so what is the meaning of this I hope you have you know about this similarity triangle. So according to this, we can take we can write an equation that is AB upon BC is equal to DE upon EC. All right. So what is our main motto? Main motto is to find out DE from this equation. So what we can write here DE is equal to DE is equal to AB upon BC into EC. Suppose EC is X. Suppose EC is X. So what is the value of AB? AB is 10. BC is 4 into EC is X. So 5X upon 2 the value for DE here. Okay. So this is it. We have find out the value for DE now what we have to find out that is most important shear force shear force for this triangle i mean if i will uh, if, if i will say, if i will say shear force for this section only so what would be the value for this uh, shear force at this section would be that is suppose that f shear force is equal to triangular load triangular load of bde so triangular load of b oh no not bd is a it's d e c so half base is ec and height is d e again we know that ec means x d e means 5 x by 2 so 5 x square upon 4 shear force now think about this what we can do from here we can easily find out we can easily find out shear force total shear force so what we have to find what we have to put in the place of x to find out the shear force uh, shear force for this because of this triangle so what we have to do that is um, as uh, f sf is equal to 5 x is 4 because we are trying to we are going to find out total shear force from c to b so uh, 5x is 4 square by 4 that means 5 into 4 uh, into 4 by 4 4 for cancel that is 20 kilonewton we are going to get shear force of 20 kilonewton okay this is one of the way i have shared with you i can tell you the simple way if you are preparing for competitive examination if you are preparing for competitive examination then i can tell you another easy method easy method to find out total shear force here doesn't matter what type of question you are going to get you have to just calculate the triangular value triangular value 
of triangular total triangle area of the triangle to get the total shear force acting on this beam okay so how you can find out you know the formula for finding out area of the triangle that is half base is 4 height is 10 so 5 is equal to 20 kilo newton and here we also got here we also got 20 kilo newton so this is the shortcut method this is the long method i have shared with you okay now most important topic most important concept again i am going to share with you if the fixed side is max having maximum value in case of uvl then uh, okay before going to tell you one uh, that thing i have to tell you another thing that is what in case of udl we have to draw shear force diagram in parabolic and bending moment diagram in cubic parabolic okay that is one thing next thing if this side i mean this thicker side this um, higher side is on the fixed side so what we have to do we have to draw parabolic diagram in case of shear force diagram that is fixed but what how, how we can draw the diagram okay that is like this like this so what is the value for this what is the value for this 20 kilo newton this is the this is the diagram for shear force diagram in case of this cantilever in uh, udl case okay now one thing is clear we have drawn shear force diagram now how we can find out how we can draw or find out bending moment diagram that is also most important so what we have to do we have to draw this one bending moment diagram so bending moment diagram in case of this i mean if thicker side is on the fixed side so what we have to do what we have to do we have to just multiply this shear force standard formula 5x square upon 4 into x by 3 this is fixed we have to do always if thicker side is fixed either fixed or we will consider in case of simply simply separated beam you understand that okay uh, i mean if you are considering to draw shear force and bending moment diagram then uh, in case of simply separated beam then we have to fix one side to find out reactions and all those things i hope you understand if you have solved few questions of simply separated beam okay now what we can get from here 5 x square upon 4 into x upon 3 so what will be value 5 x q upon 12 so again x is what if i will put the value of 4 because i have to get a uh, shear uh, bending moment of the whole so what we have to do i have to put the value of x as 4 so what is it 5 into 5 into 4 q by 12 so 5 into 16 into 4 by 12 so 4 3 is a that means 16 into 5 by 3 so what we have to do i have to use calculator okay let me show you the calculation yes i hope you can see right now this is 16 this is 5 by, by 3 okay sorry for that i to just make you understand this okay 16 into 5 upon 3 okay so okay now i have to calculate this okay 16 into 5 60 26 that is this is 26.6666 kilo newton meter okay this is the total bending moment okay 26.66 okay so now how we need this is parabolic now again i'm telling you this type of diagram will draw in case of this condition only if this diagram would be like this would be like this I and mean, oppose it and this will be fixed then this diagram will be like this okay i'll share with you another question in this topic only that's why you can understand that uh, properly okay so watch that video to understand that concept properly i hope you understand it okay now how we can draw we have to draw is like this this is a cubic parabolic we have to draw and this is 26.6666 kilo newton meter and this is this must be cubic parabolic most important thing i'm going to tell you that is what in case of uvl we have to draw shear force diagram parabolic 
again in case of UVL we have to draw BMD diagram in cubic parabolic one another concept one another concept is there to find out to find out okay to find out the value the value to find out the value for bending moment diagram but for that concept for that concept you need to use little bit tips and tricks that's why you will be aware of solving that question okay what is that i am telling you my dear don't worry we have to find out the area of this parabola so in case of this type of diagram we have to we have to calculate uh, I mean we have to use a formula for finding out the area of this parabolic diagram what is that what is that 1 by 3 into base into height so what is that 20 into 4 80 divided by 3 what is that 26.6666 exactly we are getting here so what I have shared with you today two important concepts two shortcuts to solve UVL most one of the most difficult question is students told me uh, this is really important for you I hope you understand the question well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye